Welcome, my name is Matt, OrthBeast34, and today I will be showing you how to make a free logo using Pixlr, which is a free online editing software. You can just look it up on Google or whatever your browser is. No downloads required. So to start off, just go to Pixlr.com, which will be in the description down below, and then this will pop up. If this does not pop up, try using Google Chrome instead to bring it up and making sure your flash is enabled. So once you have this screen, hit create a new image, 1000 by 1000, which is a standard HD logo, or you could do 500 by 500, up to you. Then name it whatever you want, logo-tutorial. You can click, click transparent, up to you, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll click it for now. And then now what we want to do is simply hit the paint bucket to get our background in set your main color go to whatever you want I'm gonna go to a darker white like that and now with the paint bucket selected here G just simply click the background like so and now go back to the move tool with V or by clicking the move tool over here and now we can add in your letter and then text below that so what you want to do is you want to go to cooltext.com link will be in the description once at cool text you want to click on skate change the font size to about 500 first actually let's put our logo text as the letter you want so d is the first initial of my name so i'll do that and now you want to switch the font if you want to, that is, of course. So you hit font. When you're in the fonts, you want to hit U. And then you want to go to the font under cover. So this is just one of the fonts they have. It's all up to you what you want to do. So I think the undercover one looks good as a modern font. So now I'm going to change the start color to a dark, a lighter black. And the end color pitch almost pitch black so it's a gradient as you can see now i'm going to put the outline width down to one these are all up to personal preference but these are the settings i calibrated it to that look good so now shadow you can put a shadow if you want or you cannot you can always add this later in pixlr so i'm going to do no shadow for now so now all you have to do is hit create logo and now here's the important part do not hit any of these other download things here this is all a bunch of ads so just hit this download button right here, this blue button, do not hit any other buttons because those are just random ads. So that'll download your image. And now once that's downloaded, go back to Pixlr. With the letter downloaded, you want to go file, open image or control O, and then you want to locate that image. It should be in downloads and it should be labeled as cool text, a bunch of numbers, and then you can click it and bring it in. So as you can see, I just brought it in. With the logo here, hit Control A, that selects everything, then Control C to copy it. Now hit X, no, we don't want to save that. And now Control V to paste it. So now, that was very simple, you have that in there. So we can adjust the FX and the graphics and stuff later. So we'll leave that there for now. Now let's add in our name below. Let's just type it out first, so to be 34 change the size, just for now I guess, to about 100, and then change it so you can actually see it, so let's go black, and then the font we're going to be using here, it is called Lovello Line Light, and they have to use the side scroll bar to find it, but here it is, Lovello Line Light, click that, now you can adjust this a little bit more if you want, probably going to bring it down, here you can always change this and see how it is. Now with the move tool, make sure to go back to the move tool. V, you can bring the text back. And now since Pixlr does not have a centering software, you just have to eyeball this, but it's fairly easy to eyeball considering the size. So that's about centered. Now let's center this by clicking the layer. Make sure you change the layer. So go to the side, this layer section here, and click the layer you're working on. So if, let's say you're trying to move this logo and it's not moving then that means you have the wrong layer clicked and if you mess anything up 
just hit Control z to undo so now let's go back to this letter and move it right about there so now to add a quick effect here just hit layer styles drop shadow move this over by clicking the top black bar now with the drop shadow you can change that opacity all the way down to about 20 then hit ok all up to you these are all personal preference if you want to add any effects to your text you can right click hit rasterize and then do the same thing layer styles but i'm not going to do that so Control z so now this is basically it for the quick modern logo from pixlr to export this to as a jpeg you want to hit file save or Control s and then you hit okay select your folder wherever you want that hit save now you can upload this logo to youtube or whatever you want and if it's out of proportions you can always come back to this website but i will warn you that as soon as you exit out of this website it is not saved this logo you can't come back to it so you can always come back to the tutorial to figure out how to do it again but it does not save even with an account sometimes it does not save so just be aware of that so that's it i hope you enjoyed the quick modern logo tutorial for free using Pixlr. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.